If everybody's in my Facebook group, that is incredible. Um, if you're not, I really do recommend that you hop into the Facebook group because there's some things that I will share there that I just won't have the time to share, say on Instagram or somewhere else. If you do TikTok, I have a lot of inspiration and motivational posts there, uh, educational posts, obviously mindset and success uh, coaching there. I'm at EJ underscore Colclaw. Um, but you should be able to find me just by putting in EJ Colclaw in TikTok if, if you happen to use TikTok. Thank you all, by the way, for being here. I'm very excited to be able to do this. Um, it really sets the tone uh, for the day. And I was actually getting ready this morning and I was thinking about how uh, your morning routine is so important that, it, that it's so great to be here having this study group together um, because you, you don't get a day off of your morning routine. You just don't. Um, when you go on vacation, your self-image goes with you. What you've got to do is no matter what, where you are, what's going on, is condition yourself every morning uh, because you're the only person that's going to ever do that. And well, that's actually untrue. If you're not conditioning yourself, then you're actually allowing the environment, you're actually allowing everyone else around you to be the conditioning for your day, to be the conditioning for your year, your month. Like, I don't even listen. I mean, I pay attention to the news, okay? Because you have to be somewhat worldly um, to understand people. Um, so I do listen to the news, but I, I'm very selective of what I listen to there. Um, so be careful what you're listening to. Be careful who you're spending your time with. If you do have people in your life that you shouldn't be spending time with because they're somewhat toxic or always complaining, or maybe that's even you, you know, we just have to watch ourselves and really allow ourselves only to be around exactly what we want to be around to condition our future self. Because everything that you're doing right now, everything that you did yesterday, um, these are all the conditioning and the situations that you're going to draw into your future. So let's start with chapter one. And this is again, The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. And it is an incredible book. Bob Proctor was actually studying this for over, uh, I believe, a couple years. Uh, and he would only study certain chapters, certain pages. And so I'll highlight some of the ones that he was really studying in depth. So chapter one, it starts off with um, a statement here. All things, or a quote, all things when they are admitted are made manifest by the light. For everything that is made manifest is light. The light is consciousness. Consciousness is one. Manifesting in legions of forms or levels of consciousness. There is no one that, no one that is not all that is. For consciousness through expressed is an infinite series of levels, not divisional. There is no real separation or gap in consciousness. I am cannot be divided. I may conceive myself to be rich, a rich man, a poor man, a beggar man, or a thief, but the center of my being remains the same regardless of the concept I, I hold of myself. At the center of manifestation, there is only one, I am, manifesting in legions of form or concepts of itself. I am that I am. I am is the self-definition of the absolute, the foundation on which everything rests. I am is the first, I'm sorry, the first cause substance. I am is the definition of God. Now, I just want to stop there for a second because like sometimes we, uh, you know, have, you know, different religions, um, but, or, or have no religion, but I want to let everyone know, like if you don't, and most people do, I mean, I'm a follower of Christ, but that doesn't mean that I don't study Buddhism. That doesn't mean, you know, that I, I don't believe that, you know, Krishna or, you know, uh, coming from, you know, any other religion is, is wrong. Personally, 
And, you know, I'm happy to have this discussion with you ever um, on some other later date. I believe that all of the major leaders in any religion or inspired person to lead other people in religion are all coming from the same singularity. They're coming from God. We all came from God or we all came from the universe. You know, I believe that we are made from stars. But the thing is that we are inspired and we're the only creature on earth that is able to not follow our instinct. And so I personally don't care what anyone's religion is. Um, you know, Bob Proctor didn't care what anyone's religion is. He stated it like this. We're all working with the same laws, okay? The laws of the universe. And they're all the same for each one of us. But you have to understand what those laws are in order to be in harmony with them. So um, it looks like Juan put in the power of awareness in here as a PDF. So I appreciate that, Juan. Thank you so much. All right, so let's move on. I am hath sent me, I'm sorry, I am hath sent me on to you. I am that I am. Be still and know that I am God. I am is a feeling of permanent awareness. The very center of consciousness is the feeling of I am. I may forget who I am, where I am, what I am, but I cannot forget that I am. The awareness of being remains regardless of the degree of forgetfulness of who, where, and what I am. I am is that which, amid unnumbered forms, is ever the same. This great discovery of cause reveals that, good or bad, man is actually the arbiter of his own fate, and that is his concept of himself that determines the world in which he lives. In other words, if you are expecting ill health, knowing the truth about cause, you cannot, you cannot attribute the illness to anything other than to the particular arrangement of the basic cause substance, an arrangement which is defined by your concept, I am unwell. This is why you are told, let the weak man say I am strong, Joel 3.10. For this his assumption, the cause substance, I am, is rearranged and must therefore manifest that which to which its rearrangement affirms. This principle governs every aspect of your life, be it social, financial, intellectual, or spiritual. I am is that reality to which whatever happens, we must turn for an explanation of the phenomenon of life. It is I am concepts of itself that determines the form and scenery of its existence. Everything depends upon its attitude towards itself. That which it will not affirm as true of itself cannot awaken in its world. Um, I don't have a highlighter with me, but particularly, you know, I love that particular sentence. So, you know, I encourage you to get the, the physical book um, or, you know, if you have any other digital form and highlighting, you know, I definitely recommend that you, we're, we're going to stop and definitely say like, oh, that's an amazing, you know, highlight there that we need to truly understand. All right. That is your concept of yourself, such as I am strong, I am secure, I am loved determines the world in which you live. In other words, when you say, I am a man, I am a father, I am an American, you are not defining different. I am's, you are defining different concepts or arrangements of the one cause substance, the one I am. Even in the phenomena of nature, if the tree were articulate, it would say, I am a tree, an apple tree, a fruit tree. Um, that's another important part. You know, somebody had taught me once before, um, when you're saying I am, you do want to actually be very specific. So you may start like general, like I am a man, I am EJ, I am a leader, I help others to get to where they want to be. 
you know, so you're, you're breaking it down, you're starting general, and then you're going a little bit more specific and what you truly are and want to be. You have to think and act, okay? And that's what a lot of this book is going to be talking about. So when you know that consciousness is the one and only reality conceiving itself to be something good, bad, or indifferent, and becoming that which it conceived itself to be, you are free from the tyranny of second causes, free from the belief that there are causes outside of your own mind that can affect your life. In the state of consciousness of the individual is found the explanation of the phenomena of life. It's, I'm sorry, if man's concept of himself were different, everything in his world would be different. His concepts of him, his concept of himself being what it is, everything in his word must be as it is. Thus, it, thus it is abundantly clear that there is only one I am, and you are that I am. And while I am is infinite, you, by your concept of yourself, are displaying only a limited aspect of the infinite I am. Build the, build the more stately mansions, O oh my soul, as the swift seasons roll, leave thy low vaulted past, each, let each new temple nobler than the last. Shut thee from heaven with a dome more vast, till thou at length art free. Leaving thine outgrown shall be life's unresting sea. So this was chapter one. And this book is absolutely something that you want to, I would say, study for a lifetime. And we'll essentially be chatting about some of the, the parts of the book that I think are some of the very best things to study. And it's not even like a whole chapter. I mean, I'm talking about like a paragraph or two, because this book creates a, a ability in yourself to create a better ability in your reality by just studying it alone. Now, that's what we do here at the Proctor Gallagher Institute. We help people study over and over and over again. We help break down the paradigms. And so I just wanted to give this extra study course to anyone, whether you're working with me already or working with our team already, uh, to allow all of us to come together and really be more enlightened and knowledgeable in this type of mindset. So uh, what I would like to do is um, anybody with a hand up, uh, I would like to ask, you know, I'm not sure, Allison, if, if you have your hand up again or if um, you have it from earlier, um, but no. no, just from earlier. Okay. Um, no, so, I haven't. oh, perfect. Well, Allison, then, yeah, like, come on and, and let us know what you noticed or if you have any questions, feel free. You're on. This, this is my question because I can't hold in the book up. So when you held the book up, is, is that the collection or, or is that the one book? Um, this is actually the book of the collection. So there's there's okay. only two books in here. Um, there is The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. And um, after page 112, it's The Awakened Imagination. Um, I just think okay. that it's very, and we will likely, if not, uh, you know, after this book, we're going to be moving on to something else at some point. I don't know if it'll be Awakened Imagination you know, or one of Bob's books or U Squared, Science of Getting Rich, you know, is is definitely on the agenda. So yeah, this is the collection. I just recommend having it because that's the book that I'm going to be studying from. And so does anybody have anything that like really stuck out to them that they'd like to share with the group or, or any questions beyond, um, you know, just the book? And it looks like we have a hand up. I, 
I don't see who it is. Oh, uh, there we go. It looks like it's Dijon. Hey, Dijon, welcome. And yeah, please unmute yourself and, and let us know what you noticed. Good day. Happy Monday. Um, so I was really moved uh, when we, at the part of there's no real separation or gap in consciousness. I am cannot be divided. Um, that just really uh, moved me because um, yeah, I, I just love the part where he's like, there's no real separation or gap in the consciousness. Yeah, that's it. And a, a lot of this chapter was talking about, you know, how there is only a single power. And, you know, I really appreciate you sharing that, Dijon. Um, the fact that we are all one, uh, I think is is shown in so many different ways. Um, you know, I was noticing this this morning on you know arash vasogi has this particular slide for some of our courses and it's a tree that is one tree and on one side it's absolutely barren there's no leaves like it's dead essentially not dead but no leaves no life to it and on the other side it's absolutely lush and abundant and fruitful and uh, I love that it's the same tree and it reminds me of what you said and what we just learned here in the power of awareness is that there is no gap between the consciousness. There is no gap between scarcity and abundance. It's all going to flow with how you decide. And somewhere in here, I don't have it pulled up again, but it said um, that you are the decider of your fate. And that's through what you believe and what you uh, allow to be your I am's, you know? So if you're going to say, I am, you know, behind, I am, you know, always late. I, I don't have enough. Uh, I constantly am helping people to readjust their language and never to say, uh, you know, an I am, that leads them down the path of scarcity, you know, pain, fear. Uh, so we want to always uplift ourselves with our language. So, you know, it is, um, we've got like three more minutes if you'd like. I'm gonna cut it off uh, today uh, exactly at 30 minutes. So at um, 9 a.m. Eastern. Um, thank you for sharing, Dewan. Does anybody else have a question or an epiphany that they, they found with our study today? And if not, we'll close it out. But I do appreciate everyone for coming. And I'm really excited to have this community grow and to really allow ourselves to have, it looks like we have one more. Allison, if you'd like to unmute yourself. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I don't have a book yet, but um, I'm a follower of Christ too. And so just when I hear the words, I am, it's just like something just kind of like just flow through me, you know. Amen. So um, I, I'm, I'm actually really practicing um, what you said about being, being careful about the words that you say right now. And, and, you know, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm thankful to be here um, because it just confirms that, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And so I just want to thank you also for, you know, um, having the uh, study. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for being here. You know, I, I absolutely love to study. I absolutely love being here with like-minded individuals, you know, searching and yearning and, and, uh, creating what they want in their life. Like we have that unlimited ability and capacity to create everything that we've always dreamed of, but we often allow just the reality of somebody else's belief to come in and just, you know, choke hold us. When, you know, whether you're a follower of Christ or any other religion, a lot of them talk about, you know, this ability to create whatever you would like. Um, but, you know, and, and um, it really makes me think of like, I've always pondered this and I've always loved this, but uh, Jesus said, and again, this is not like, just so everybody knows, like I'm not going to sit here and preach about Christ. I am a follower of Christ and I appreciate you saying that as well. 
um, Allison. Um, but all, all are welcome here. Um, but I love uh, this quote that Jesus said, you can do all that I have done and, and more. So I'm always like, every time I say that or read that, like I have that same type of energy flow through me. Um, you know, like Allison said, like the, the, just like electricity, like I have goosebumps on my arms right now because I'm always curious, like all that and more and more, like, what is that more? Like, that is so beautiful. Um, so I love it. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. It looks like everybody had, uh, or quite a few people had put in the chat, um, and I appreciate everybody answering some of the questions there and participating. Um, so uh, I, I'm very grateful for all of you uh, and I'm very grateful for your uh, participation. Um, as you may notice, I'm not the very best reader in the world. Like I'm not incredible. Some of you are gonna get on here and be like, wow, they should do the narration for you know all books. Like it's incredible, but um, we're not here to judge. We're not here to worry about what anybody else is doing. Like all are welcome. We're all equal. And I just love being here to study with you. So thank you so much. It's the top of the hour now. So I'm going to try to always keep it around 30 minutes, just so you know, for your own agenda. Um, and if you ever have to leave early, then, you know, that's good. That just, you know, just go ahead and head out. Uh, but we really appreciate you being here. This is going to grow into something very fruitful for all of us. So I'm very excited. Thank you guys and have a beautiful morning. Um, you know, Dijon always says, you know, happy Monday or happy Saturday, like great attitude. And let's all go make it an incredible week and an incredible Monday. Now, last thing I got to say is like, uh, Arash always says this, Bob always says this, uh, Sandy Gallagher always says this, your goals for today are going to lead you into the week, lead you into the month and the year. So only focus on today. All we have is the very present. You know, the past is what has brought us right here, right now. And Allison, I appreciate you saying like, I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm here now because I know I'm on the right path. And, and you are, if you are here right now and you stay present with yourself all day long and keep your goals in mind, keep today's goal in mind, whatever it is, like just don't worry about the future, only focus on you.